Hey guys, uh, Songo here with a Kel'Thas video, and I'm going to be playing, uh, a build that's not standard, to say the least. In fact, it should suck so much that it actually kept me up at night thinking about it, and just making sure her poison doesn't. So, what my abilities do... Okay. <laughs> what my abilities do is burn spheres. Makes my next things... Uh, next ability... Be even better. Heroes, night will fall in just a few moments. And, again, okay. damn. Couldn't stop the spread. And my Q lands down this. A very powerful AOE uh thing that what's it. Nice. My W is a dot that explodes. And my E is a stun in a line. Right. Uh, my team is getting chased down by Chogol, one of the worst matches for, uh, Kel'Thas. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm dead, I'm dead. Shit. Was I that low, or did Sylvanas just do something? <laughs> yeah, he's one of the worst matches that you can get. As Kel'Thas because normally because you rely on AoE and Dogal basically takes one person out from the AoE equation. So mana tap. In my guide I said this was a decent uh, ability, but not normally wanted. <clears throat> And good job. Come on, help me. Please. You guys. Thank you. And when I empower my W, it makes it so it doesn't go on cooldown. And doesn't cost any mana. When I empower my Q, it makes a bigger circle. That deals even more damage. Woo. And the flame strike, my Q, is what this build is going to be focusing on. And it takes really bad talents. But, oh no. Uh, he's far too high health. And, uh, there we go. And take its power. Nicely done. The okay, yeah, just telling Tyrael that he should take the terror since he's got in a mode of escaping. Uh, going to lay down a fire black bla or living bomb, and then throwing down flame blast to get all those juicy last hits. Which refund my mana. And here's the really bad one. Try optimal. Or like, more like completely unoptimal. But I'm building it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I should probably be helping my team. I don't know why I didn't get more last hits, but oh well. But I'm basically going to be our team specialist with this build. And yeah. <clears throat> uh, should I help the terror? Yeah, probably. 
and there we go. Good job, good job. That's why I make the big <clears throat> and got oh, never mind. And he's dead. Good job. Not getting nether when really threw me off there. I didn't plant my E because I thought I had much longer range. Yeah, uh, sorry if I'm not talking anywhere near enough. Oh, by the way, the guide also said that Pyroblast was viable. <laughs> oh god. For some reason, I just couldn't keep this off my mind. I just could not. I don't... <laughs> I don't recommend this build in any way. Ah, oh, bloody hell. And... Now yeah, that. And he's... Oh boy, he's zoning me out. I'm coming. Yeah, what he recommends to do is use gravity laps at the end of your rotation to get a lower cooldown on your current spears. For a flame strike build, that's probably a terrible idea because you don't really get the benefits of having them locked down. The sun lights my path. <clears throat> but I'm giving it an honest try. It's not going too poorly, but I think that's mostly Oh, did I mention that the Chogol combo is actually master Portraits, at least. And my man is back at full. Oh, lag. <clears throat> and backing out because I still have cooldowns that are on cooldowns. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming. Mm. I hate you. I hate you so much. It shall be done. Hung over here so he can't do that again. And there it is. Just burn it down real quick. And Lubanus got caught. Oh, and she took out a Adather. Nice. Uh, get out of my way. Don't have range for my Nether for gravity laps, that is. Good thing is that, um. Oh, bloody hell. Uh. Abathur mines count for uh, targets that you kill. Very good. Freaking hate this. It is time to harvest. Bring my terror to <clears throat> And the enemy's terror. Oh, okay, we stopped chasing. Good to know. Uh, and he recommends Pyroblast. Yeah. Why do you delay? Just freaking frustrating. Okay. And would you just screw off? Thank you. Breaking out there. Lights my path. Fire be purged. 
So the enemy team is defending against our push with the golem. Minions, why do you not stay together? There we go, and now I'm back at full mana, fairly easily. And turn it down to get cooldown reduction. And then that. Again, just, I'm basically our team's uh, specialist, except that Tyrael is somehow dealing more siege damage than me. I don't know how. Okay, and then that to reduce cooldowns. And burning again. They are going to come up here, but <clears throat> uh, yeah, <laughs> don't know what Sylvanas was doing, <laughs> but at least we were able to get retribution for ourselves. <laughs> uh, and I don't remember what the team said, or the guide said to do. But I'm taking Fury of the Sunwell. Because it just makes sense. On the bright side, I am doing. I. I've done 12,000 <laughs> hero damage. That's kind of. That's really pathetic. Are you ready for some amusement? Your fort has been destroyed. That's not even kind of pathetic, that's truly 100% pathetic. Nope. Oh, and that should finish. They moved slightly out of range. How annoying. Where's Chogol? I think he's down bot. No, that's a Sylvanas. Oh, if you have not noticed. Uh, this is a quick match game. So, yeah. Indeed. Uh, they are. That's likely Chogol right there. So, instead of fighting him, I'll just do this. I do like the fact that I don't have to worry about mana. I do actually quite like that. And burning, burn spheres into flame strike, into double flame strike, and then again, and burning. It's. I don't like the burn sphere, er, the try off the mole. And. My yeah. Well done, hero. I just don't like it. You could have definitely gotten something a lot better than Cry Optimal for that level. Your enemy has spawned a terror. Okay. Well done. Uh, the terror shall uproot your enemy's And then that burning. And just stay down. And going to place this under the flower. Burning. And. <clears throat> I mean, if you are able to get gravity laps in at the end of the combo, I. I guess it does something. Not an incredible amount of something, but... <sighs> yeah, 
error. Hush. <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna be needing help. Good job. Thanks for the ult. And that's 15% my mana refunded right there. We should recruit these mercenaries. Yeah. Sure thing. I'm not gonna argue with you on that. <clears throat> Tyriel is saying that it was better to just not push and just team fight instead. Lights my path. Yeah, I'm what decent at taking mercs. Well done. Let us press onward. It shall be. Uh, I'm coming. You guys need to be careful. You guys need to be really careful. And that's not a chain bomb. But, <clears throat> ah, bloody hell. Freaking. And I'm just going back. Hopefully a mine is not uh, spotting me. Doesn't seem to have. Slaughter them all! Take I'll be taking the seeds. Jesus Christ, Tyriel! What is up with your siege damage? What is up with your siege damage? Jesus Christ! Uh, yeah, aside from Trioptimal and Pyroblast, I say this build is decent. It's not going to have the same utility as Chain Bomb. And, well, yeah, it won't have the same utility as Chain Bomb. But, it's still decent. Oops, I nearly missed that. And I'm gonna die here if I don't get out. Oh, I am gonna get out. I must go back. <laughs> that was... Hmm. Decent, I guess. <laughs> As I said in my build guide, I'd recommend if you're taking mana tap to just take uh, fell infusion since you could use the health sustain since you've already got more than enough mana sustain if you take mana tap <clears throat> So yeah Oopsie. Uh, Yeah, sure I'll do that And I'm gonna hit that to reduce cooldown of my thing with what's a passive trait. And hitting that to reduce cooldown of my trait. And. Good game? Um, final verdict on the build? It's not bad. It's not a great team fighting build, but yeah, I could get more siege damage and like six times the, or even seven times the hero damage if I went in bomb, but it's not bad. Uh, so here's the build. That I ended up going with. Mana Addict. Mana Tap. Try Optimal. 
I recommend not taking this, but if you can somehow chain together everything, I guess it keeps your passive up. <clears throat> Phoenix, because it's the ult only ultimate. Pyromaniac, decrease its cooldowns. Meh. I mean, it increases the amount of times you can use Fury of the Sun well. But... <laughs> no. Yeah. Just take out Trioptimal, put in anything else, and it'll be decent. And Bolt of the Storm, because it's the only level 20 talent he's got. Yeah, I, I seriously want to know what the hell is up with his siege damage. Anyway, I probably could have surpassed him in siege damage if I had gone Chain Bomb. But in case Chain Bomb gets nerfed again, I guess it's a pretty decent choice. It's nowhere near as safe as if you took Flamethrower at level 13, but yeah. Anyway, have a fantastic day. Hope you found this enjoyable. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Sharing is really caring. That's, anyway, have a good day.